Block pushing brings us to the tenth event of the Marvel Sports Games Season 3, here in the Speedlands. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. Block pushing is going to be a bit different this time around. It's going to feature uh, the same track length and setup as we saw in Qualifiers and Mid-Season Madness, but with an extra twist. Each, marble must, each team of marbles must now descend through the hurdle section and try and keep all their members on board. And we are ready to get this event underway. Valiant Vanellas, of course, took the lead last event. We'll have to see if they can hold it here. Oddballed our first team up. Again, an interesting lineup from this team. They never seem to use their captain in block pushing. Will it pay off? That's a good push with a 38.5 from the Oddballs. Will it pay dividends later on? Of course, that's only one push. So we don't have an, ex an estimate of where it will be, but the record, if I recall, ooh, Flutter is gone! Flutter has flown off the track, and the Stingers, ooh, they're gonna roll the block sideways, they're gonna get two penalties for that, and they're going to get 32 once, Flutter just completely blew off, actually we are receiving word from timing and scoring, that it was a mistake on the grid there, they will only be getting one penalty, and... The rainbow is up now. So saying, before uh, Flutter flew off the track. The current record, 41.8 centimeters. Oh, as the rainbows come pretty close to that. Just a couple centimeters back. That record belonging to Team Nuclear. That was set in mid-season madness. Will Balls of Fire be able to break it here? They might! 40.8, that is really good! Balls of Fire to the lead! The Bronze Tigers up now. Ooh, Tiggy nearly comes to a stop in the lane back there. And... Oh! Oh, no! Bronze Tigers! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's gotta be the most Bronze Tigers-like thing I have ever seen. If I've ever... Yeah. Oh, the Bronze Tigers just continuing to tank after starting the season off so well. They had a silver in the relay race. But alas, it is all coming undone. That'll be an invalid run. <laughs> Ugh. They're sitting well down in the order. As True Blue puts up a paltry score of 32.3. Thunder Gods in the gate now. Track you there. They are off and rolling. Now, the, you have to wonder, what is the strategy for this event? Do you want all four of them crammed close together? Or do you want them spread apart? The Thunder Gods went for a spread apart strategy there, where all four were about equal lengths away from each other, and it paid dividends, and it is not doing so for the Greenies here. They crammed together, and it's going to go horribly wrong. 28.2. Disaster for the Greenies. Flamethrower is up now. Oh no! Smelt! Smelt will pelt the referee down there. They're going to jump the rail. Look at this. Smelt lands in the other lane after falling out of the track, hits the referee. That is going to be a disqualification for the flamethrowers. That's only the second disqualification in Marvel Sports Games history. Smelt's going to go over and apologize to the referee. Don't think anything's going to come of that. The flamethrowers disqualified. So good sportsmanship, I guess, but eek. Not where the flamethrowers want to be. Team Galactic up now. They've subbed the reserve Cyrus in. And how will it pay off? 31-5. Not a good result for Team Galactic. Up now, the Moonlight Titans. And they're going for a bunch formation. Will it work? Ooh, that's going to be a good push. 39.7. The Moonlight Titans vault up in a second place. Our championship leader now, the Valiant Vanillas. And they're going to lose one. They're only going to have three push, and that is not going to work. 28.9. The Valiant Vanillas are in much trouble here. They have not had a bottom four finish since the final event of Season 1, but they might get one here as the Sterling Swarm will roll the block. That actually might work to their advantage. They're going to lose one, and we'll get a penalty centimeter, but that might have been a good strategy, actually, by the Sterling Swarm that moves them up into fourth place. Blue Moons now. How do they do? They look like they have a good run. They will have a good run. It is so good, it's good enough for a new record. 43-2. The Blue Moons vault into first. Oh, and the Blue Ray Buns are going to lose one similarly to how the Flamethrowers did. They're going to fall off. Not going to get anything going there. 
And this means the Blue Moons and Balls of Fire have clinched podiums with the Dodgers, the only remaining team. Have they saved the best for last, possibly? Let's see what our hosts can do. All four of them are still on. They spread out, and it's not going to work. It is not going to work. The Blue Moons win gold! Balls of Fire will pick up their fourth podium of the season. Moonlight Titans will get their second. The Flamethrowers disqualified. Bronze Tigers down there. I think happy to somehow get a point out of this despite having an invalid run. But look at the Blue Moon standing on top of the podium again. That's their fourth gold medal in the Marvel Sports Games. Three from last season, one from this season. Balls of Fire happy to be up there. And of course the Moonlight Titans. One gold in balancing, nothing else really besides that. So our bottom four now are knocked out from podium contention. Team Galactic in 12th can still podium but cannot win. And the Valiant Vanilla's lead has shrunk to five over Balls of Fire. The Greenies are down to third and it's all slipping away from them. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.